Well, hello. Okay, so today is January 11th. It's about 11.20 right now. Okay, you might hear some vacuuming. That's the cleaners outside in the hallway vacuuming the carpet, which I am very grateful for. So yeah, I didn't have a great sleep last night. I haven't been having a great couple days health-wise and sleep-wise, so I'm feeling a little um, a little rough. Yesterday, I spent a lot of time. I spent basically, the only thing I really worked on yesterday was my secret project stuff. So that feels really good, and I'm gonna continue to work on that today, but I also need to do a bunch of Ben writing today. I don't want to focus too much on word counts, but I do have that goal of getting 10,000 words before I go back to work. So I do need to get to 10,000 words. So it'd be great to at least get to 1,000 words today. It would bring me that much closer to haagen coffee ice cream. Ideally, the real goal is to finish chapter four completely, just be completely done. I think I'm gonna write my initial idea. So I had an idea for the little bit that I'm missing. And then I was thinking about it and I thought maybe we should go in a different direction. If I can't think of some else I'm gonna put that one in for now because there's nothing wrong with it I think I'm kind of doubting myself so I'm just gonna put that one in for now and then it'll be a later draft thing um, and I can go back obviously I can go back and change it whenever because this draft is not getting published so yeah at least a thousand words would be great but at the very very least finishing chapter four the vacuuming is getting louder I feel like there's probably about a thousand words left if anything maybe less we'll see but yeah right now I'm gonna go get Starbucks I might get breakfast I shouldn't be I, I mean, I shouldn't be spending money. I shouldn't be drinking coffee. I have food at home. I should really <sighs> But you know when you just feel like you got to get out of the house and you know, you can't really focus on anything else Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling Anyway, I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back and get started on some Ben work So it might not look it but it is later in the day. It's almost 2 30 right now I I left the house at about 11.30. I got home a little over a half hour ago. But anyway, I left at 11.30. I went to Starbucks, got myself a frappuccino and just like a breakfast sandwich. The plan was to come back home immediately and start writing and working on my secret project. Now, I don't know if this happens to anyone else. This happens to me a lot and I kind of enjoy it. I definitely go with the flow when this happens. As I was driving back home, the drive through that I usually go to is like 15-ish minutes away. And so on my way back, I pass the on-ramp like to the highway to get onto the highway and I just decided you know what I'm gonna go for a drive like my usual drive that I go on when I'm feeling any any kind of way and I guess I am I have been feeling a kind of way so yeah I was just driving back home and then I was like er. <laughs> I went onto the highway and I just went for my drive and my drive usually takes roughly two hours a little bit more than two hours depending on traffic and whatnot so um yeah now I'm back home it's two 30 and now I'm gonna get started on work for the day. The drive was great. I did enjoy the drive a lot. There wasn't very much traffic at all and I was just blaring music and screaming basically. I was scream singing and it felt it felt really good but I'm still just feeling I'm not feeling great you know emotionally physically I um, I'm not feeling all that great and I'm frustrated. I don't know I'm just feeling frustrated because I feel like I don't do enough. I don't know why I can't seem to do enough. Anyway, let's not go down that rabbit hole. Let's just keep moving. Let's try to get some work done. At 4.30, I do have my acupuncture appointment, so I need to make sure that I leave in time for that. I also have to eat before that. So really, it all boils down to basically an hour and a half of getting, trying to get some work done before I have to leave for a bit again. And I have so much to catch up on. I have so much beta reading to catch up on. I have work stuff to get a head start on because I start next week. Okay, I'm just gonna start with some Ben work. Now, here's the thing with Ben. So I recently, I mean, I've always known that there are, um, legal, you know, copyright issues surrounding using, like, quoting lyrics in a book, like, in your, in your book. And I know that the general rule of thumb is, like, don't, just don't do it. Don't, don't quote music in your, in your books. And I think that's great. I think that's great advice. That, so I, I saw that somewhere. I was reading about that recently, and, um, it got me thinking about the fact that there are, I mean, I don't know that I necessarily really quote lyrics in in Ben. I definitely like name songs and bands and, and artists and stuff, which from my understanding is perfectly legal. There's no copyright on, on that, but I just feel like in this story, there definitely are a few instances where songs and music, I mean, a big chunk of this story takes place, you know, in a car, like on a road trip, there's a road trip and 
you think road trip, you think music, you know? Um, so there, there are definitely, from what I remember, times where I mention you know, songs that are playing. I can't recall if there's any actual, like, lyrics being quoted at all. Like, I don't think I quote, like, them singing the lyrics. I think I just kind of mention the song. But there is a scene, which is not in this draft, it's gonna be in this new draft that I'm writing. There is a scene that a song, a specific song, you know, is being sung, and I'm now a little bit worried about how to write that without explicitly quoting the song. So I need to figure out how I can write it in a way that still gets, you know, the moment and the sentiment across without quoting the actual song, which is hard because there are, like, there's, oh, I wish I could say the thing so that it would make more sense, but it's an important little beat that I got really excited about when I was doing my read through and my notes and stuff for this draft. And I thought of that scene and I was like, oh, Ugh, I mean, I had the scene, but I added a little bit um, to it. And I loved it so much, and now I'm just worried that I can't really, uh, I won't really be able to do that because I, I don't want to fall into any kind of copyright issues, you know? I also just, I need to do a lot more reading about copyright when it comes to that stuff in novels. So I've been thinking about that a lot, but I, should, I shouldn't even be worrying about that right now because I'm not anywhere near that chapter currently. So anyway, that'll be something to think about in later drafts. I'm not going to worry too much about that for draft two. I'm just going to write it. I'm just going to finish this draft, make it better than the zero draft, which so far it definitely is. And I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Then I'll worry about that kind of stuff a little bit later. Once the story, once I've gotten the story out enough that I can kind of chip away at things that um, I don't, I don't actually need. <laughs> Now to turn around and back again I made my bed and now I lay my head in it And I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best you know the worst Okay, so 503 words later, we're halfway to my 1,000 word minimum goal for the day. And I have finished, I have finished chapter four. Chapter four was a lot of new words. A lot of the same sort of things happened as the zero draft, but I was rewriting a lot. It was a lot, it was a lot of rewriting. I changed a lot of things. I added a lot of things. So in a lot of ways, this feels like almost like a zero draft of this chapter. It's a better zero draft version than the zero draft. I feel like in general, it's better. I feel like there's just more added to it that it was missing. It was very, very bare bones before. Now there's a bit more meat, but it's like, it's flabby. It's not, um, it's not great, but it's, it's written, it's done. So chapter four is done. And I think it's coming in at like just over 7,000 words. Yeah, 7,262 words. These chapters are way too long. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more writing before I get ready to go to my appointment. I'm gonna do chapter five. I'm 51 words into chapter five. I started it the other day. So now I'm just gonna continue. And chapter five, I'm essentially pantsing, right? Right now because I don't have an outline. I added this chapter. I made a couple notes here in my Scrivener file about what the purpose of this chapter is and kind of what, what I want this chapter to accomplish in terms of the story, but I'm just gonna power through. Right now I have two scenes. I think that's all I'm gonna do. And uh, then we're gonna move on to chapter six, which is things start happening. So again, it is much later in the day. I am currently watching The Mummy. It's probably the fifth time this year you know, in the last 12 days. I'm gonna do a bit more writing. I need to get ready for bed soon. I don't wanna go to bed too late. I just have not been sleeping well, so I wanna get to bed as early as I can. So gonna do a little bit more writing. I did reach my goal of finishing chapter four, so that's amazing, but I'm only at 618 words, and I'd like to write a little bit more today. I didn't do any work on anything else. I kinda had a weird day after my appointment. I just felt, I mean, all day I was feeling weird, um, and then after my appointment, I just kinda got a little bit lazy, so I didn't really do anything. But I'm going to do a little bit of work on Ben and maybe a little bit on my secret project. We'll see. Okay, so it's the next day. It's January 12th. It's about noon-ish, 12.30 I think. When I tell you that I had an absolute shit night and I feel like I'm losing my mind, know that I'm not exaggerating. 
I'm not exaggerating. So that being said, today it's looking like I'm gonna spend the majority of the day sitting on my couch watching Brendan Fraser movies, eating junk food, starting with McDonald's for technically breakfast, but I guess it's lunch. That's I'm gonna that's what I'm doing for most of the day. I'm gonna try to get some work done on my secret project. I'm gonna try to do a bit more writing for Ben, but otherwise I'm just gonna sit on my couch and uh, try not to die because I feel like I'm dying. Last night was great though. I did manage to accomplish both of my goals that I had, which was to finish chapter four and to get to at least a thousand words. So I did those two things. I got to, I think, and it was like just before midnight, but I got to 1,014 words. So that was good. So I'll try to get some more writing done today, but I think it's gonna be, it's just, it's one of those days and I don't even want McDonald's. Like I don't even want McDonald's. I think it's literally just because I spent almost the entire night like the entire I think I got an hour of sleep um, I spent basically the entire night on my phone like on TikTok. it's the easiest thing that like calms my brain down and just like I don't know it just like distracts me enough where I can calm down I was doing that and I think there was just like one too many ads for McDonald's or something so um, yeah I got out of bed today and I was like I'm gonna get McDonald's so this is not gonna this isn't gonna sit well it's not gonna sit at all. It's gonna go right through me, but that's that's where we're at I'm also debating just digging into my Haagen-Dazs coffee ice cream because I'm having that bad of a day Like I had that bad of a night and I'm just like fuck it life is so short I need to eat that ice cream before um, you know something happens to me and then I can't uh, that's where my brain's at But yeah, that's what's going on kind of a um, dark gloomy day today a dark gloomy update to the vlog but i really want to be as raw and 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 transparent and honest as possible and there's definitely a lot of health stuff going on currently and i'm especially feeling it so um anyway yeah that's what's going on i'm gonna eat this it's already cold and gross but here we go so i'm happy to report that i had a decent night of sleep last night and when i say decent night of sleep it just means i didn't wake up to a panic attack or with the weird just i didn't have any of the weird kind of wake-ups that i normally have so I'm feeling a lot better than I was yesterday I'm still feeling weird I'm not like I haven't been feeling 100% but I feel a lot better and I'm grateful today is gonna be a big editing day for sure I'm gonna try to get as much editing done as I possibly can but I also want to do some writing and some secret project work so I'm, I'm gonna try to get as much of that done as I can yesterday I didn't do any work I just I mostly watched Brendan Fraser all day and uh, some forensic files I went to see my parents for a bit and that's that's basically what I did. However, I still have my goal of getting 10,000 words before I go back to work and I'll be going back to work next Wednesday. So I have about six days of writing before I go back to work and I need to write quite a few words. So I have 7,678 words to write in the next six days and broken down to daily word counts, that's about 1,280 words, which, you know, is a chunk for me, but I think I think I can do it. I'm gonna try to um, power through. So I'm into chapter five and this is a chapter that's new. It's a, it's a new chapter five. It's being completely zero drafted. I don't have anything planned for it. I just have a general idea of kind of what the, the function of this chapter is and what what purpose it has so in a lot of ways it's uh it's really me just plotting it's being plotted out right now i'm gonna keep powering through okay i'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time i'm just gonna get the gist out and then we'll worry about it later i'm just gonna keep keep going because there's still a lot of the book to write this is a very long book i yeah i have my work cut out for me in the next couple of drafts because i need to make it shorter i think i think in the end i'm gonna need to really kind of slim things down so uh we'll see but again that's all future stuff right now i'm just working through getting through this uh second draft and i'm very excited so it's a little later and I'm finally gonna sit down and start doing some work. I feel like I've been home for at least an hour and I haven't really been doing all that much. I was on my phone, so I'm done with that. We are done. It's about 3.15 right now. We're gonna get some work done. Well, we're gonna get some work started. We're gonna start working. I'm gonna offload the footage and start editing the vlog. I might... So I forgot that I have D&D &D tonight at six. A part of me wants to just like sit this session out, but we're going on a heist. Like we're going on a heist and I don't want to miss it. <laughs> I really don't want to miss it. So, ugh, I don't know, but it's going to be like three or four hours and that's just, that's just a big chunk of time. And I really, I really need to get some work done. <sighs> but it's a heist. I've never been on a heist. <sighs> 
I haven't decided, but I might have to sit this one out. I think I might put something on in the background while I do some editing. I'll watch another Brendan Fraser movie. I can't stop. It, like, it's been a little while since I've been like this obsessed about a specific actor. I feel like I latch on pretty easily to like shows or movies, um, but I haven't latched on this tightly to uh, an actor in a while. If it's gonna be anybody, it's gonna be Brendan Fraser, right? I mean, he deserves it. I just love him so much. Like I love him so much. Maybe I'll put on like The Mummy. <laughs> I've watched The Mummy. <laughs> It's fine. Does that say something about where I am emotionally and just like my anxiety and stuff? Um, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe. But it's it feels good and that's what I want to do. So I'll probably, I'll probably put on The Mummy. Or I also watched School Ties the other day. I actually watched it yesterday again after I watched it for the first time the other day. And I really like that one too. Oh, he just, oof. So yeah, that's the first thing I'll do is just get some editing started, get some editing out of the way, and then I will do some Ben work. And then I also really gotta do some secret project stuff. I can't, I can't fall too behind. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous that I'm going back to work. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna watch a movie, I'm gonna do some editing, and then I'll get into some Ben work. Okay, so I did some editing, which was great. I watched The Mummy Returns, and then I went to the store because ever since my parents came over the other day, I made them a little like charcuterie board, and I've just, I've been in the mood for like that. I'm now watching Blast from the Past. I'm gonna eat, and then I'm probably gonna go see my parents for a little bit and work on my secret project, and probably a little bit of Ben work there too as well. I ended up not participating in the D&D session tonight, which makes me a little bit sad, but they're not going on the heist. I think they're gonna just kinda get ready, so I won't be missing like the big thing, which is which is great. But yeah, so that's what's going on now, and I'm gonna enjoy this thoroughly. Driver, please stop the bus immediately. I wish to get off. <laughs> please stop the bus, sir. <laughs> oh. I So today is Friday, it's January 14th. Last night I didn't end up doing any Ben work. There was no Ben writing done yesterday, but I did do a lot of work on my secret project. I feel like I really made a chunk of progress with my secret project and that feels really good because I'm starting to get a little bit, a little nervous uh, about that, but yeah. So overall, as far as the Ben progress I've made in this vlog, um, one big thing was I wanted to finish my chapter four of draft two and I did that. I finished chapter four, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about that. I'm gonna continue to make, you know, make my progress slowly but surely and just know that I will get there. I will get there eventually. So yeah, let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your writing is going, how your January is going so far. We're almost at the end of January already. You know, like it's already, we're already halfway through January. Time is moving so damn quickly. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know what your favorite Brendan Fraser movie is. I swear to God, as soon as I start working and making money again, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be buying a bunch of Brendan Fraser movies. Like I'm starting my physical media Brendan Fraser collection, okay? I feel like at this point, my entire personality is like horror movies and Brendan Fraser movies. Like that's, Brendan Fraser is like an entire genre of film that uh, is my favorite. I don't know, but I love that man and I just, I can't stop. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold because you are favorite. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.